This video is going to be a lot harder to make than I thought. This video isn't meant to be mean, defaming, or otherwise hurtful in any way. I'm just sharing my honest thoughts and feelings, and I'd really appreciate it if the comment section was kept kind. Thank you. In early November 2024, Too Tall Toby added a subscription service to his practice models page on his website. Now, subscriptions are everywhere. I've made a few videos before about just how expensive CAD can be and how much of a hassle it can be to navigate all the different options out there, let alone afford them as a hobbyist. Some softwares have free hobbyist versions with various downsides. Some software costs hundreds or thousands of dollars per year, and Elibre, albeit my favorite option, is still $200 for their basic tier version, even if it is just a one-time payment. As far as subscriptions go, for anything, I'm generally pretty anti-subscription. I'd rather pay to own something rather than pay monthly for access. You don't actually own anything with a subscription, and it can be pretty devastating if the service you've paid for for years is shut down, leaving you with nothing to show for it but memories. Ask anyone who paid for access to any online game that is now discontinued. However, I can at least understand the subscription model in that application. Your monthly payment is supporting the developers of the game, keeping the servers online, and funding new features. I can even fully understand and support subscription models like Patreon. For a monthly fee, someone provides content to you, you support that person directly, and in return they give you perks that others don't get. Now we loop back around to CAD. For the same reason as Patreon, I fully understand Too Tall Toby's new subscription model. For $10 per month, he is providing access to a practice model website with specialized functionality, stopwatch, leaderboards, statistics, and more. Unfortunately, where my opinion changes on this new paywall is with the marketing and implementation of the paywall. I don't think anyone likes being charged money for something that was previously free. And therein lies the problem with this particular subscription model. Previously, every single practice model offered on the TTT website was offered for free. Because of that, a massive community grew around his practice models. Many people, myself included, did YouTube videos showing solved tutorials and encouraging people to try the models themselves. The official Alibre forum on the Alibre website has an entire thread dedicated solely to Too Tall Toby models. This practice model page was helping people learn their CAD software, especially hobbyists. Now, about 90% of the models on the page are subscription only including the ones that were free just a few weeks ago. Regardless of the actual intent, this whole thing has left a very sour taste in my mouth. A walled garden has been created in this once open community. On one hand, money coming in will surely help to improve the service and add features to the practice models page. On the other hand, many less people will be able to take advantage of those features because they're now locked behind a paywall. I don't think the Too Tall Toby page on the Alibre forum will be as active, and I'm sure there'll be fewer YouTube solve videos out there. Hopefully I'm wrong. In all fairness, TTT does offer a ton of models for free. There are practice models on his YouTube channel, the models used for entering the tournaments are free, and there are a plethora of models in the past live streams which could all be used for free. But regardless, the wall still stands. And the practice models page on the TTT website suddenly feels a lot less appropriate for a hobbyist like myself. And because I'm a hobbyist, I don't feel welcome as I once did. I simply can't afford paying $120 per year for what is, at the end of the day, just some practice for a hobby of mine. CAD is already an expensive enough hobby as it is. So as the old saying goes, if you want something done a certain way, do it yourself. So I did. Introducing Weekday Weekend Workshop, a free, hobbyist-focused CAD modeling practice website. No account needed, no personal information needed, no stopwatches, no leaderboards, just keeping it simple. In the future, I might add a stopwatch and statistics functionality, but for now, I'm taking the KISS method to heart. And in keeping with the KISS method, every part uses the ABS plastic material with a density of 1,020 kilograms per meters cubed. This conveniently is the same density as Too Tall Toby's ABS plastic, so if you're already set up for his models, you're set up for mine too. Some parts are in millimeters and grams, while others use inches and pounds. Just set up the material, click on a model you'd like to try, and give it a shot. Check your answer with the button below the drawing. More models to complete will go up whenever I can post them. All this at weekdayweekend.net slash workshop. So, if you're a hobbyist looking for something a little cheaper, give it a shot.
As for Too Tall Toby, I really, really thank you for everything you do in the CAD community. Uh, by all means, everybody, if you're looking for something a bit more challenging and with a bit more functionality than what I'm offering, then check out Too Tall Toby. His practice models are fantastic, his drawings are fantastic, and they're genuinely challenging. Thank you everybody for watching. Remember on my channel every day is a weekend. Don't forget to hit subscribe, follow Twitch, uh, check out my website weekdayweekend.net slash workshop, and I'll see you next time next weekend. Bye!